Sedimentary facies in geology. Sedimentary facies in geology refer to distinct rock units or assemblages of sedimentary rocks that are characterized by specific lithology, sedimentary structures, and fossil content. They represent the depositional environments in which sediments were originally laid down and subsequently preserved in the rock record. Understanding sedimentary facies is crucial for reconstructing past environments, interpreting Earth's history, and predicting the distribution of economically important resources such as oil and gas reservoirs. Sedimentary facies are typically classified based on various criteria, including sediment composition, grain size, sedimentary structures, and fossil content. These criteria provide clues about the processes and conditions under which the sediments were deposited. One common classification scheme for sedimentary facies is the Walther's Law, which states that the vertical succession of facies observed in a sedimentary sequence corresponds to lateral changes in depositional environments. This means that adjacent facies represent different environments of deposition and can be used to reconstruct the spatial arrangement of ancient environments. There are several major types of sedimentary facies, each representing a different depositional environment. Continental facies, these facies are deposited in terrestrial environments such as rivers, lakes, alluvial plains, and deserts. Examples include fluvial deposits, river channels and floodplains, aeolian deposits, sand dunes and luss, and lacustrine deposits, lake sediments. Marine facies, Marine facies are deposited in various marine environments, including shallow marine, neritic, deep marine, pelagic, and transitional, shoreline, environments. Examples include carbonate reefs, shelf sands, deep sea muds, and deltaic deposits. Transitional facies Transitional facies occur at the interface between terrestrial and marine environments, such as estuaries, deltas, and beaches. These environments exhibit characteristics of both continental and marine deposition. Marginal facies Marginal facies are deposited along the margins of continents or within sedimentary basins adjacent to tectonically active regions. Examples include turbidites, deposited by underwater landslides, flish deposits, and delta front sands. Glacial facies Glacial facies are associated with glacial environments and include deposits such as till, moraines, glacial outwash, and glacial marine sediments. Each type of sedimentary facies is associated with specific sedimentary structures, textures, and fossil assemblages that reflect the dominant processes and conditions of deposition. For example, fluvial deposits often contain cross-bedding, mud cracks, and fossilized plant remains, while marine deposits may contain fossils of marine organisms such as mollusks, corals, and foraminifera. The study of sedimentary facies plays a critical role in reconstructing past environments, interpreting ancient climates, and understanding Earth's history. By analyzing sedimentary facies, geologists can reconstruct the paleogeography of ancient landscapes, identify ancient depositional environments, and unravel the complex interplay of tectonics climate, and sea level changes throughout Earth's history. Additionally, the identification of specific facies types can aid in the exploration and exploitation of economic resources such as petroleum reservoirs, coal seams, and mineral deposits. General Characteristics of Sedimentary Facies Sedimentary facies encompass a diverse array of characteristics that reflect the conditions and processes of deposition within specific environments. Understanding these characteristics is crucial for interpreting the geological history recorded in sedimentary rocks and reconstructing past landscapes and environments. Here, we delve into the general characteristics of sedimentary facies in greater detail. Lithology Lithology refers to the physical and chemical composition of sedimentary rocks. Different sedimentary facies exhibit distinct lithologies based on the types of sediments that were deposited. For example, facies deposited in fluvial environments may consist of sandstones, conglomerates, and mudstones, while marine facies might include limestones, shales, and evaporites. Grain size Sedimentary facies can vary significantly in grain size, 
ranging from fine-grained silts and clays to coarse-grained sands and gravels. Grain size distribution within a facies provides insights into the energy conditions of the depositional environment. High-energy environments, such as river channels or beach settings, typically produce coarse-grained sediments, whereas low-energy environments, such as quiet lakes or deep marine basins, favor the accumulation of fine-grained sediments. Sedimentary structures Sedimentary structures are features within sedimentary rocks that result from the physical and biological processes occurring during deposition. These structures can include bedding planes, cross-bedding, ripple marks, mud cracks, and bioturbation, burrows and tracks made by organisms. The presence and characteristics of sedimentary structures provide valuable clues about the dynamics of the depositional environment, including current direction, water depth, and sediment transport mechanisms. Fossil content. Fossils are preserved remains or traces of ancient organisms that are often found within sedimentary rocks. The types of fossils present in a sedimentary facies can provide important information about the paleoenvironment and the organisms that inhabited it. For example, marine facies may contain abundant marine fossils such as shells, corals, and ammonites, whereas terrestrial facies may contain plant fossils, vertebrate remains, and trace fossils. Diagenetic features Diagenesis refers to the physical and chemical changes that occur in sedimentary rocks after deposition but before lithification, the process of turning sediment into rock. Diagenetic features within sedimentary facies include cementation, compaction, mineral replacement, and the formation of secondary structures such as nodules, concretions, and stylolites. These features can significantly alter the original characteristics of the sedimentary rocks and provide additional insights into the geological history of the depositional basin. Paleocurrent indicators. In some cases, sedimentary facies may contain indicators of paleocurrent direction, which are features that record the direction of ancient sediment transport within the depositional environment. Paleocurrent indicators include cross-bedding forsets, flute casts, imbrication of clasts, and asymmetric ripple marks. Analyzing these indicators helps geologists reconstruct the paleogeography and sediment dispersal patterns of ancient landscapes. Sequence stratigraphy. Sedimentary facies can be organized into sequences that represent repetitive patterns of deposition and erosion within a basin. Sequence stratigraphy involves identifying and interpreting these sequences to reconstruct the relative sea level changes, sediment supply variations, and tectonic events that influenced sedimentation through time. This approach provides a framework for understanding the evolution of sedimentary basins and predicting the distribution of sedimentary facies within them. By integrating these general characteristics, Geologists can unravel the complex history recorded in sedimentary rocks, infer past environmental conditions, and reconstruct the dynamic processes that have shaped Earth's surface over millions of years. Sedimentary facies analysis plays a fundamental role in fields such as petroleum geology, paleontology, environmental science, and basin analysis, contributing to our understanding of Earth's geological evolution and informing resource exploration and management efforts. Formation of Sedimentary Facies The formation of sedimentary facies involves a complex interplay of various geological processes, including erosion, transportation, deposition, and diagenesis, within specific depositional environments. Understanding the factors that contribute to the development of sedimentary facies is essential for reconstructing past environments and interpreting the geological history preserved in sedimentary rocks. Here's a detailed exploration of the formation of sedimentary facies. Erosion and weathering. The process begins with the weathering and erosion of pre-existing rocks on Earth's surface. Weathering breaks down rocks into smaller fragments through physical, mechanical, and chemical processes, while erosion transports these fragments away from their source areas by agents such as water, wind, ice, and gravity. Transportation Once sediment particles are liberated through weathering and erosion, they are transported by various agents to new locations. Transportation mechanisms include rivers, streams, glaciers, wind, ocean currents, and gravity. The mode of transportation influences the size, shape, 
and sorting of sediment particles, with high-energy environments typically transporting coarser grains over longer distances. Deposition, as the energy of the transporting agent decreases, sediment particles settle out of suspension and accumulate on the Earth's surface or within bodies of water. Deposition occurs when the transporting energy falls below the threshold required to keep sediment particles in motion. Sediment deposition can occur in a wide range of environments, including river channels, floodplains, lakes, deltas, beaches, deserts, glacial valleys, and deep marine basins. Sedimentary environments, the specific characteristics of sedimentary facies are determined by the depositional environment in which sedimentation takes place. Each environment possesses unique physical, chemical, and biological conditions that influence the types of sediments deposited, as well as the sedimentary structures, textures, and fossil content preserved within the rocks. Common sedimentary environments include fluvial, river, aeolian, wind, lacustrine, lake, deltaic, river delta, shoreline, shallow marine, neritic, deep marine, pelagic, glacial, and transitional, estuarine, environments. Diagenesis Following deposition, sedimentary rocks undergo diagenetic processes that transform loose sediments into coherent rock formations. Diagenesis involves a series of physical, chemical, and biological changes that occur within the sedimentary pile due to burial, compaction, cementation, mineral alteration, and the influx of pore fluids. These diagenetic processes can modify the original characteristics of the sedimentary facies, including porosity, permeability, lithology, and fossil preservation. Tectonic and climatic influences Tectonic activity and climatic conditions play significant roles in shaping sedimentary facies patterns over geological time scales. Tectonic processes such as mountain building, rifting, and subsidence control the distribution of sediment source areas, sedimentary basins, and depositional environments. Climatic factors such as precipitation, temperature, and sea level fluctuations influence erosion rates, sediment transport, and the development of depositional settings. Stratigraphic Framework Sedimentary facies are organized into stratigraphic sequences that reflect the episodic nature of sedimentation and the dynamic evolution of Earth's surface through time. Sequence stratigraphy involves identifying and interpreting the stacking patterns of sedimentary facies within a stratigraphic framework, which provides insights into the relative sea level changes, sediment supply variations, and tectonic events that influenced sedimentation. By considering these various factors and processes, geologists can reconstruct the depositional environments, interpret the sedimentary facies, and unravel the geological history recorded in sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary facies analysis is fundamental to understanding Earth's past environments, predicting the distribution of economic resources, and informing geological exploration and resource management efforts. Types of Sedimentary Facies Sedimentary facies encompass a diverse array of rock types and characteristics that reflect the depositional environments in which they formed. Geologists classify sedimentary facies based on various criteria, including lithology, sedimentary structures, grain size, fossil content, and depositional setting. Understanding the different types of sedimentary facies is essential for reconstructing past environments, interpreting Earth's history, and predicting the distribution of economic resources such as oil and gas reservoirs. Here, we delve into an extended exploration of the major types of sedimentary facies. Continental facies Fluvial facies, deposited by rivers and streams, fluvial facies typically consist of well-sorted sandstones, conglomerates, and mudstones. Sedimentary structures include cross-bedding, ripple marks, and gravel bars, reflecting the dynamic flow of water. Aeolian facies, formed by wind deposition in desert environments, aeolian facies include sand dunes, sand sheets, and lust deposits. These facies often exhibit cross-bedding, wind ripple marks, and well-sorted, fine-grained sandstones. Lacustrine facies, deposited in lake environments, lacustrine facies comprise varves, alternating layers of fine-grained sediments, marls, and organic-rich mudstones. 
Fossils may include freshwater organisms such as diatoms, ostracods, and fish. Marine facies. Carbonate facies, formed in warm, shallow marine environments, carbonate facies consist of limestone, dolomite, and evaporites. Common sedimentary structures include stromatolites, oids, and fossil-rich reefs, with fossils such as corals, algae, and marine invertebrates. Clastic marine facies, depositional settings such as beaches, deltas, and continental shelves produce clastic marine facies comprising sandstones, shales, and conglomerates. Sedimentary structures include wave-formed bedding, tidal rhythmites, and deltaic forsets. Deep marine facies, accumulated in deep marine basins, deep marine facies include turbidites, pelagic clays, and abyssal muds. Sedimentary structures include graded bedding, turbidite sequences, and pelagic sedimentation features like manganese nodules. Transitional facies Deltaic facies, found at the mouths of rivers, deltaic facies comprise sandstones, mudstones, and conglomerates. Sedimentary structures include deltaic forsets, distributary channels, and tidal flats, with fossils reflecting both marine and freshwater environments. Estuarine facies, deposited in estuaries where freshwater meets the sea, estuarine facies include mudflats, tidal channels, and deltafront deposits. Sedimentary structures include tidal bedding, mud cracks, and rooted horizons, with fossils of both marine and freshwater organisms. Glacial facies. Till facies, formed by glacial deposition, till facies consist of unsorted, poorly sorted sediments such as clay, silt, sand, and boulders. Sedimentary structures include glacial striations, erratic boulders, and glacial moraines. Glacial marine facies, deposited in marine environments influenced by glaciers, glacial marine facies include drop stones, glacial diamictites, and rhythmites. Sedimentary structures reflect ice rafting, iceberg scouring, and glacial retreat. Marginal facies. Turbidite facies, deposited by turbidity currents in submarine canyons and basins, turbidite facies comprise graded sandstones, siltstones, and shales. Sedimentary structures include Buma sequences, flute casts, and sole marks. Flish facies, formed in tectonically active settings, flish facies consist of alternating layers of sandstones, shales, and conglomerates. Sedimentary structures include slump folds, thrust faults, and angular unconformities. Each type of sedimentary facies provides valuable insights into the depositional processes, environmental conditions, and geological history of the Earth. By analyzing sedimentary facies, geologists can reconstruct past environments, interpret climate changes, and predict the distribution of economically important resources. Sedimentary facies analysis remains a fundamental tool in the field of geology, contributing to our understanding of Earth's dynamic surface and its evolution over time.